Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these kids fox mittens. This is the bag in the front. I've used a paint box yarn, DK yarn, and it should fit um, kids from one year to four years old. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with a slip knot so wrapping the yarn twice in the finger like this so there is a left and right so I'm gonna take the left one in front of the right one and then again this left one down and this is my slip knot and for this project I'm gonna do 24 chains so the foundation chain row is 24 chain 1 2 3 4 5 and continue until you've got 24 chains so here is my 24 chains and now I'm gonna slip stitch to the first chain so going into the first chain here and I'm gonna slip stitch like this so now to continue the second round I'm gonna chain two one and two and this chain two is my first half double crochet so I'm gonna work with half double half double crochet in each of the chains and I'm gonna work in this back loop so you can see this back loops this is the front of the chains this is the back and I'm gonna work in each of those back loops so half double crochet into this back loop like this and continue going to the next and a half double crochet so this round is half double crochet in each of the back loops so you're gonna have 23 half double crochet and you chain two here so total of 24 so you need to continue So I'll be back with all my half double crochet done. I've finished my half double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to chain 2 here. So 1, 2, go into the chain 2 and slip stitch so for the second round I'm gonna do chain 2 and this chain 2 is my first half double crochet and now I'm gonna continue with half double crochet but I'm not gonna work in these stitches on top but I'm gonna work in the stitches below here in the middle so if you check the next stitch is this one this but I'm gonna work into this strand here if you check this little diagonal diagonal strand so I'm gonna give you right indication so this is the stitch next to it the stitch here there is a right or you can call it right strand there's a left strand and the right one we're gonna work in then in the next stitch here I'm gonna work in this little loop and then this loop so you need to find this little strand and you're gonna work in this one so I'm gonna yarn over go into this strand here and half double crochet then go into the next 
going to be stitching strand into half double crochet and then continue so this round is and this stitch is going to give you a ribbing effect you can see so continue in the next strand here little So just continue like this So to finish off my second round, I'm going to slip stitch to the chain 2 here. So find the ch chain 2 and slip stitch. So my two rounds done and I'm going to do three more rounds. So I'm going to do three more rounds of this ribbed stitch. So I'm going to chain 2 which starting each round with chain 2 and continuing to work in this little right loop here so there is a left and there is a right so we're going to go into this little right strand or loop whatever you want to call and go and do a half double crochet and repeat going into this little right loop do you half double crochet so you can see it's a this little loop here and continue so I'll be back with my all five rounds so three more to have five total so you can see now the stitch is like this So I'm back with my last round done and I'm gonna slip stitch to the chain 2 and now to continue the next four rounds going to be half double crochet into each of the stitches so starting with the chain 2 going to the next stitch and now we're gonna work in this top loop and just do half double crochet in each of the stitches so going into the next okay so this is my first round of half double crochet I'm gonna do three more so total of four rounds of half double crochet so total stitches is 24 we started with 24 we are still with 24 so you need to continue and at the end of the round slip stitch to the chain 2 and continue the half double crochet all the way and for three more rounds I've finished my four rounds of half double crochet and now I'm going to chain two and this round I'm going to make the hole for my for the thumb so I did my chain two and I'm going to do a half double crochet into the next okay and now you're going to skip four stitches so one 
2, 3 and 4 and in the fifth one you need to work so before doing this you're going to chain 4 as well 1, 2, 3 and 4 so what you did chain 2 half double crochet in the next chain 4 skip next 4 stitches 1, 2, 3 and 4 in the fifth one do a half double crochet so go into the fifth one just do a half double crochet like this so this is the hole for the thumb and this one is the left left hand so for the right one you just need to do continue until you're here doing the half double crochet and lift the hole skip the fourth stitch over here in this corner not in this but in this corner so now I'm gonna continue doing my half double crochet all the way around so I'll be back after I finish my half double crochet so So to finish the round, slip stitch to the chain 2 and for the next round chain 2. Now for over the next 6 stitches we're going to work single crochet. So I'm going to go into the next stitch, yarn over and come back. I've got 2 loops, go into the next stitch. And I've got three loops. I'm gonna go through all three loops. So I did two single crochet together. And now in the next stitches, so I've got here next two, I'm gonna do single crochet in the next, then single crochet in the next, and then again two single crochet together into the next row. I'm going to do two together now. Got two loops. Go into the next. Got three loops. Go through all. So I did a decrease and at the same time I did single crochet because to make it even. So now I'm going to continue doing half double crochet all the way around. So just continue half double crochet so until you're here so I'm gonna slip stitch to the chain 2 so this is now chain 2 going to the next stitch I'm gonna do over the next two stitches I'm gonna do two single crochet together so chain two go into the next chain so there's three loops and then all three loops single crochet and then in the next one I'm gonna do a single crochet like this and then over the next two again two single crochet together and then continue half double crochet all the way around so continue so to finish off this round I'm gonna slip stitch to the chain 2 and now after these two rounds of decrease and we now I'm gonna continue with six rounds of half double crochet so just doing rounds of half double crochet so chain two go into the next and do half double crochet next half double crochet and continue until you've got a total of six rounds
to finish the work now after these six rounds we need two more rounds and those two rounds are decrease round so I'm gonna chain two and half double crochet into the next and then over the next two stitches I'm gonna do two half double crochet together so there's three loops yarn over go into the next now there is five loops yarn over and go through all five next one I'm gonna do half double crochet and then I'm gonna do two together again so repeat this pattern two together and one half double crochet then two together and half double crochet so So I'm gonna now slip stitch and the next round is two together all the way around. So go into the next. So do two half double crochet together all the way around. So slip stitch, chain and then cut your yarn. Keep it little bit longer. I did cut two more. I didn't keep it that much long keep a little longer and now we are going to continue working on the thumb you need to find the second stitch from the four that we missed here from the bottom row we need to find the second one and join the yarn so I'm going to go through both the loop and I did a slip knot and join this yarn like this and do chain two so one and two so this chain would be counted as the first half double crochet now we're gonna work in the next one half double crochet and then In the next one half double crochet so two half double crochet and the chain two now we are here in the half double crochet space um, here you need to go sideways like this to the half double crochet and do a half double crochet into this Now do it again so now we got four now go around and go into the next stitch skip this space and here you go now you're gonna go into that one And then go into the next and then the next and then the next so we did four half double crochet on this side one two three and four and this was on the side of the half double crochet and now again you're here on the side of the half double crochet you need to do again one other one so go into that one and So now you are going to do the last here, the half double crochet. 
and then join with your chain 2 here you need to slip stitch the chain 2 so you have something like this so I did a total of 10 half double crochet 4 bottom 4 on the top and 2 on the sides so it's a 10 now you're gonna continue chain 2 and then 9 half double crochet around and so now go into the next stage and continue doing half double crochet So I finished the round and slip stitch to the chain 2. You need to continue two more rounds like this so that it fits the thumb. Now I'm going to chain 2 and continue for two more rounds. So half double crochet in each of the stitches. And the total stitches will be always 10. To finish the thumb we did four rounds and I'm going to do one more round. So chain 2 and this round would be the decrease round so we're gonna do two half double crochet together all the way around so I'm gonna yarn over go into yarn over going to the next and so like this I'm gonna continue all the way around doing half double crochet together So in my last stitch I'm going to do just a half double crochet and then slip stitch to the chain 2 it be hard finding it and chain 1 so Now we need to close this hole here and also here and I'm going to show you this and the mitten is finished. So turn your work. Using a needle, so I'm going through all the stitches here like this, and then the second one like this. Go into the next one, the next one, find out the last one, and secure it. This, so now you can see it's closed. Now you can weave in. This 
is the other end you can weave in this one now for the top is similar you need to go through all the stitches and just pull and secure so first one second third fourth fifth one go back to the first one pull and secure it now weave in Here is the two mittens done. You can see. Now I'm gonna join these ears, what I've already made. This is the outer, the inner, and you're gonna join first these two and then join it here. And I've also made some cheeks can see and then there's going to be nose and the two eyes so this is the end so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel